we have two teams, the Bronchodilator BAM team and the Anti-Inflammatory SLAM team. Now, I recommend focusing on the Bronchodilators and the S in SLAM for steroids. These are typically the most tested. So starting with bronchodilators, B is for beta-2 agonist, and the drug to know is albuterol. So just think we give buterols for brutal asthma attacks, and it's considered the one and only rescue drug for asthma attacks. We always give buterols first before any and all drugs during an asthma attack. So that's why we put it here first on the list. Now, A is for anticholinergics, and ipratropium is the drug to know. Now, this dries out the body, decreasing secretions and dilating the airways. So, just think of the dry here. You can't pee with a tropium. And M is for methylxanthines, ending in fillin like theophylin. So, just think it's very toxic and a very fast heart rate. And the therapeutic range to know is 10 to 20. So, the memory trick we use. Think fillins have you fill in toxic and tachycardic. So Kaplan mentions aminophilin or aminophilin is a bronchodilator. And Hesse mentions the therapeutic range for theophylline is 10 to 20. Now on the other side, think of the SLAM team for anti-inflammatory agents. We have S for steroids ending in zone like beclomethazone. And the top side effects to know just think of the three S's for zone ending steroids. We have S for, this is known as oral thrush. So instruct the clients to wash their mouth out after every use. And think steroid inhalers go right into the sink at least twice per week. The next S is for sepsis and sickness. Since steroids increase the risk for infection, increasing the WBC count inside the body. And the last S is for sugars that are increased. Now, these are completely normal, so we have to watch out for these. Now, the last two, which are not highly tested here, so I wouldn't focus on them too much. We have L for leukotriene inhibitors, ending in leucast, like Monte leucast. Now, the brand name is singular, so just think Luke likes to sing. And M is for mast cell stabilizers, like chromalin. But again, it's not highly tested, so I wouldn't focus on these too much. Now, switching gears to meter dose inhaler teaching. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.